You have not grieved, just like the other scriptures was talking about. But we out here looking for the people who, uh, it's like, what, Ezekiel 9. Somebody get Ezekiel 9. Because we out here looking for the people that is, uh, is signing and crime. We out here for the poor and the broken hearted. Because if you ain't grieving out here, if you ain't out here crying and sighing and pleading to the most high, there's something wrong with you, man. Got much to plead about. I, got, much to I ain't got nothing but complaints. I got nothing good to say about this world. Nothing. It's a church. It's a church, dude. God, they tell you pray for riches or the preacher or try to bless you to get riches, man. Fuck no riches. The thing about the church is maybe they get you to stay passive. Right. They don't give a fuck about you. They stay stupid. They want you to stay passive. Because they know that day of bloodshed is coming. Every, every, even the dumb motherfuckers that don't know shit, Jake's man. They know something coming they in the spirit. Man. They spirit they know. Right. That's why they don't never read Revelations. In their spirit, they just ain't ready for it. But in their spirit, they know fuck some shit's about to happen. Something's coming. Then that's when they're going to try to pick up the Bible. It's too late for that. That's what I, know, I say about I those that know. hold back from the sword. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, And how was... Oh yeah, Yahweh said unto him, go through the oh, yeah. go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so that the Lord said you're supposed to go through the midst of the city. That's why we are here right here in the midst of the city. And we putting a mark on the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. Because you look around, most people ain't sighing and crying. They're having a good time out here. They enjoying this uh this raggedy ass city. This festive holiday season. Yeah, they looking forward to the holidays. They buying Christmas presents, going Christmas shopping. When the scriptures tell you, you ain't supposed to celebrate Christmas. The Bible says you're not even supposed to put a Christmas tree in your house. Fuck Christmas. That, that was about, yeah, fuck Christmas. I'm with it. Fuck Christmas. Fuck Christmas. Hey, get this Christmas uh, tree scripture. The, the Bible says you ain't supposed to put a Christmas tree in your house. All right, that's in the Bible. But everybody claimed to believe in the Bible. Oh, I love Jesus. But you got a Christmas tree in your house. The Lord going to deal with you. He going to deal with you. And that's by our worship. That's devil worship. The ancient Israelites was doing the same thing. They, they, they put the trees in the house, put the trees in the temple. And the Most High destroyed them for it as a punishment. Well, that tree represents a uh, service service Yeah, also it's a symbol of the goddess. I share uh, Baal's uh, uh, wife, the devil. You know what I mean? Because Baal worship, they worship the, the goddess too with Baal. What about that? Who's that? She's the god. They cut her husband up in all kind of pieces. And the only thing, she, she found every single thing. Osiris. Osiris. The only thing she didn't find was the subpoena. So. You know, Osiris is green. They go back to the evergreen and the, uh, the fertility. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, North. yeah. The uh, Jolly Green home. Giant. Green Man. Oh, you'll see a lot of these churches. Uh, you gotta go do a Google search on the Green Man in churches, carved into the uh, churches. It, 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 there's a lot of devil worship and symbolism in these churches. I just put it that way. Like the church steeple. You see the uh, the church steeple, that big needle on all the churches? That, that's the same thing as the Christmas trees, the penis, right? It, it represents fertility. It represents the, ma the male penis. An uncircumcised penis. Nowhere in the scripture said put a big old needle on top of your church. They didn't say that. That's what the heathens did. Yeah, the Norse, uh, they got that from the Norse pagans. They had a temple to Frey and Odin and all that. And all them temples, the pagan temples, had that needle on top of it. And that's where they got it from. Uh, let's, let's read finish up Ezekiel first. Let's get that. Ezekiel 9 and 5 says to the others, said in mine hearing, go ye after, after him and through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, and they have ye pity. So they utter ye old and young. So old and young gonna get it, man. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody safe, man. <laughs> Both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark the begin at my sanctuary. Right, that means, so anybody, we come out here and we teach, right? If they accept this truth, they, they safe. The Lord will protect you, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the whole reason we out here. Is to find the people that sign and crime. Ask your pastor to break that down at the church. See how, see how far that goes. You might get banned from the church. That's in the Old <laughs> Testament. <laughs> Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye, hear ye the word which the Lord has spoken unto you, O house of Israel. This says the Lord. Uh, on the who? O house of Israel. Oh, Israel. He didn't say to the Christians, he said to Israel. <laughs> this says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathens. Learn not the way of the heathens. Yeah, don't follow the ways of the Buddhism. The way of the heathen. Hinduism is the way of the heathen. Muslim? So, yeah, being a Muslim is the way of the heathen. Celebrating Christmas, that's the way of the heathen. Go ahead. He's not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them. Oh, oh, that's like all these uh, Israelite women. They live their life based upon the zodiac, the astrological sign. Talk, oh, they got, go ahead. I can't talk to you. What's your sign? You're a Pisces, oh, we can't get along. They got rap songs about it and everything. <laughs> like, damn, so you tell me we don't get along because of my sign? That's dumb as fuck. Uh, for the custom or the people are vain. For one cut us a tree out of the forest of the work of the hands of the workmen with the axes. Who's that one guy that used to rap We got some money because he's talking about the Professor Griff. Yeah. We hit him with that script. <laughs> he's, for the custom of the, Jeremiah 10 and 3, for the custom of the people are vain. For one cut us a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold, and fasten it with nails and hammers that it moved not. See that, so that's in the Bible. The Bible said the customs of the people of vain, they take a tree out of the forest, put it in their house, and put silver and gold on it. That's a Christmas tree. And they, they've been putting Christmas trees in their house for thousands of years. That ain't nothing new. Don't y'all know, even when America was first formed, it was illegal to celebrate Christmas because they knew that was ancient uh, devil worship. But now they got y'all heads all messed up. Y'all believe anything. You believe anything but the Bible. And the Bible says don't celebrate Christmas. That's the ways of the heathen. That's only something a heathen would do. Only a heathen would put a tree up in their house and decorate it. Then throw it away the next day. Yeah, right. And then throw it away. And here they chopping out whole forests. Yeah, with all these liberals nowadays trying to protect the earth. Why don't you save these trees? They cutting out whole forests just so you can have a tree in your house for one day. That's why the scripture say even the fucking trees gonna rejoice when this devil comes out. Oh yeah, the trees of every man. That's a tree genocide. Every how many people celebrate Christmas in America? Probably there's 300. Oh damn, there are 400 million people in America. At least 300 million of them celebrate Christmas. That's a lot of trees. That's a hell of a vibration, man. Yeah, that's a hell of a vibration, right? Because that's a pretty much Christmas is Baal worship. In the ancient world, they they worship Baal and the sun god on December 25th. That's a fact. It's Christ, if it's Christ's birthday, why the fuck is you getting a gift? You should be giving the gift to him. Fuck you, gotta what you. Why do you need something? You need to be giving something to the Most High with Yahweh Shah. You feel me? And that scripture also said what? The heathen are dismayed at the signs of heaven. Because uh, Christmas is, uh, comes in during the winter solstice. That's part of the signs of heaven. That Christmas is all about the winter solstice and celebrating the fact that on December 25th, the days get longer. Well, it's just when it, well, that too. But, uh, yeah, because the elder plants and stuff lined up once a year. But uh, on Christmas Day, on December 25th, because right now, what time does it get dark outside? Early as fuck, like six at five, six o'clock is dark. So on December 25th, the day start getting longer by, you know, by a minute, two minutes each day, whatever. So they celebrated that, that the day started getting longer. That's what Christmas is all about, man. Ain't got nothing to do with no, no Bible. People are retarded. They don't know nothing. How should Jeremiah 6, 5, and 7, how shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods Whew. when I have fed them to the full. They then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the Harlan houses. They were as fed horses in the morning, every 
one name after his neighbor's wife. Shall I not visit thee, visit for these things, saith the Lord, and shall not my soul be avenged for such a nation as this? He said, what is such a nation as this? And that's what they mainly did back in the last, you know, that bullshit Christmas back in the day. That was a, that was a day of adultery, man. What they call it, uh, white swapping or, uh, no, no, uh, uh, swing, yeah. That was big during the early days of celebrating this bullshit Christmas, man. Sacrifice. Saturnalia. Yeah, and uh, Saturnalia, and during that time of year, the Romans celebrated something called Saturnalia during Christmas time. And that's when they had giant orgies and all that. You see, the stores, that's the number one. That's when a lot of stuff get bought up, too, uh, around Christmas time, too. A lot of stuff. It's the number one selling holiday. Hey, can I, I, can, so I, can, can I get a script for you? Amazon TV. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Because this goes, because the Christmas tree is also known as a grove. And the Bible always talk about the Israelites worshiping the grove, setting up them trees. So I got a scripture for that. Deuteronomy 12 and 1. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which the Lord God of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it all the days that you live upon the earth. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains, upon the hills, under every green tree. Ye shall overthrow their altars, break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods to destroy the names of them out of that place. Ye shall not do so unto the Lord your God. But that's, they did that to the Lord though, didn't they? They, they would uh, burn us with fire if they could. You see, the scriptures say you're supposed to go get burning trees with fire. Obviously, you can't do that. You know what I mean? Because in, uh, uh, in the Old Testament, the Most High wasn't playing. When Joshua and the Israelites and Caleb and them went up into Canaan, they was not playing. They, they burnt all the temples to the ground. They was killing all these heathens and Canaanites. They was breaking, they was smashing all their graven images to pieces. Because what you got on Christmas, I mean, you can go to the neighborhoods, they got gigantic blow-up Santa Clauses. Man, that's an idol. High as hell, too, around Christmas, too. Santa Claus is Baal. That's why he's red. Esau is red. Then Satan is red. You know what I mean? Esau is red. Yeah, Esau is red. Esau is Satan. The children of Satan. It, it, it ain't, and he ain't Saint Nick. Saint Nick never seen a, a snowflake in his life. He lived in Turkey. Okay? He, he lived in Asia Minor. He wasn't fat and he wasn't jolly. He was probably pissed off on him. And he was a dark-skinned man. They got you to go get, get on Google, type in St. Nicholas uh, Byzantine art, and you'll see that uh, St. Nicholas, the, the original St. Nicholas was a so-called black man. He was a dark-skinned man. And he wasn't fat. And he didn't wear a hat. He didn't wear red. It's all bullshit. You know, there's probably have a psychological effect making them fat motherfucking fat. People see them, that's their getting that movement, being a glutton, stuffing themselves. You know, eating all that shit on the bottom of the table. Yeah. They have days. You know how it is, but they psychology. Yeah. They ain't psychology. They use colors to trigger certain emotions. Yeah. That's, that's why they use McDonald's as red and yellow. They said it makes you hungry. Right. Right. It looks flavorful. <laughs> That shit is garbage. I ain't even Hell no. Verse 10, go ye up, up upon her, Jeremiah 5 and 10. Her walls and destroy. But make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have built very treacherous against me, said the Lord. They have bellied the Lord and said, It is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we cease sword nor famine, and the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them. Destroy them. That was the That's what's coming, is death and destruction. Deuteronomy 18 and 9. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of the nations. Yeah, you ain't supposed to learn to do the abominations 
Christmas is the abomination of the heathen. That was a heathen practice. Easter. What is Easter? Easter is the name of the fertility goddess. Okay? That, that's the heathen shit. You ain't supposed to be celebrating no Easter. Easter's not in the Bible. The Lord said if you celebrate Easter, you got to get put to death. That's what the Bible said. The Bible said if you celebrate Christmas, you're supposed to be put to death. I mean, but y'all got it all backwards. You know what I mean? Go ahead. It's Romans 11 and 4. It says, For what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who will not bow the knee to the image of God. Hmm. Right, we get it again. It says, Romans 11 and 4. It says, What saith the answer of God unto him? I reserve to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed to me for the image of Baal. Oh, uh, yeah, like the Christmas tree. Y'all put that, that, that's bowing the knee to the image of Baal. The Christmas tree literally represents Baal, right? And then, like, like they always say, like when your children go to grab the presents, they like bowing down to the tree. And they saying that the Baal and the serpent is giving you presents. All that rituals. It's all, yeah, it's all rituals. Then they leave out cookies. They leave out cookies to Santa Claus. The, the Israelites left out cookies to the Queen of Heaven in the Bible. Milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. <laughs> Milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Yeah, who's going to leave out cookies to Santa Claus? That's crazy. Well, if y'all doing that to your children, man, y'all deserve to get put to death for that. Wait a minute, what happened? What's that, Bell and Dragon? What happened there? Yeah, Bell and Dragon. It was Bell and Dragon. You know what? Let me just get that, man. That's the same thing as Christmas. We're going to kill these motherfuckers. I mean, if y'all do it, that I mean, you got a chance to repent. It ain't just all death, but nearly. Because most people ain't going to repent. Repent means a, what? Uh, turn, turn around, turn away. Ain't no way. Most people just ain't going to listen to us. We already know that. People be like, y'all out there don't nobody listen to you. Like, we don't know that. <laughs> That's crazy. You, feel like you told me something new I didn't know. Well, it said they, they ain't gonna listen to you. They said he ain't gonna listen to you. Listen to you. Too. They, they put the Lord on a, they got tired of listening to the Lord. They put him on a cross and crucified him. It's like, we ain't gonna hear no more of this. That's good, man. They got tired of it, man. They did got tired, yeah. Sold him out. They said we have no king but Caesar. That's our people, bro. They said they have no king but Caesar. Well, they put more faith into the government and the news, the authority figures. See, we're not so-called authority figures. Since we're not an authority figure, nobody's gonna listen to us. But for we's out here with the Channel Six News or whatever we did, they did a documentary. All of a sudden, we on TV. Now they gonna listen to us. And these people, they just well-trained slaves. That's all it is. Teach them love. And everybody needs to be saved. We, we bury everybody in life is dead. They, they accept it. They, they, they listen. We have large crowds. Because the average person is just a parrot. It's just a parrot. They have no thoughts of their own. They just repeat little bullshit they was told. Yep. Oh, uh, go ahead. Ecclesiastes 9 and, uh, and uh, 15, it says, it was found in a uh, it was, not it was found in a in it a poor wise man and he by wit his wisdom delivered the city. Where you at? Uh, he says nine uh, He says, yet no man remember that same poor man. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard and quiet, more than the cry of swift that we from fools. That's a good scripture, right? Right, because when you poor, you down and out, ain't nobody gonna listen to you. But if you got money, you got some cheddar, man, people gonna do whatever you say. They just gonna be kissing your ass, you know what I mean? Sweet, they be quiet. That's a tent. Uh, Bart, I was asking, let's go, but he's like, he's gonna prank or whatever he's doing. Nobody's gonna prank or whatever. He act like he's somebody put him in the Spider-Man, some shit like that. So people just want to watch that, to that, to that image of, you know, what they do. Acceptable. 
Yeah, help with this world, man. We're not part of this world. I said, fuck this world, bro. Oh, yeah, there was another video with dude, he, he, he dressed up like a, uh, like a homeless type guy. And nobody would fuck with him, literally. So, uh, the girl would fuck with him, so, uh, his wife came. They came and got me a big ass fucking car. And she, I see that. And she's like, oh, oh, that, that bitch, she tried to be all cool with him, man. Like, nah. Yeah, like, come on. That's how the Louisville do, yo. Because he said, uh, those that have, uh, what, what's the other one? Uh, he said, since you ever refuse me, I'm going to refuse you. I forget that exact script. Because right? if y'all refuse the Lord, he's going to refuse you. Because you was ashamed of the Lord, he going to be ashamed of you. You don't even know that scripture said, you know, we, Angels on the web. So. Yeah, because the Lord, he got, a, he got a report on all of you. But it's something they call the Book of Life. Remember he said all the names that was written in the Book of Life? Romans. Romans 10 and 14. How then shall they call on whom who they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him on whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except to be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Elijah said, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And that's saying too, like how these people gonna learn anything unless we come out here and teach? I didn't, they going here, that's why you have to come out here and do this work. That's why you got to make YouTube videos. And that's why the elders said do at least three videos a week. Why? Because how are they going to hear if, they, if the word's not being preached? If we're not making videos, how's the rest of the world going to hear the message? The more videos you put up, the more that's out there. More is more. And that's, a, uh, that's an inside joke for me. More is more. Less is less. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, they, their sound went into all the earth and the words into the ends of the world. Oh, that's the internet scripture. So these words going to the ends of the earth. We in the only, the first time in human history where we can communicate with everybody on the planet. We, I mean, it, we can get on the internet right now. I can talk to brothers in Africa, Asia, Australia, Indo. We got brothers watching the videos in Indonesia. This is like saying that. We got brothers in Japan and Europe. We got we got brothers watch our videos in Finland. Finland. I ain't never been in no Finland. That's on the other side of the planet. But this is the first time in history where we can actually communicate with everybody. And so we gotta take advantage of it. Because first of all, they're gonna shut this internet down, they're gonna control it. You see they got that, they're trying to pass it past, they're trying to get rid of Slaki, they're trying to get rid of net neutrality. So, because they, they want to dictate who gets to use the internet and who doesn't. And soon they're going to come with that market of the beast and a microchip, and you won't even be able to log on to the internet without that chip. So now's the time to make these videos and push this truth on the internet. But plus, what if we get hit with an EMP? If we get hit with an EMP, guess what? No internet. That's Internet's it. a wrap. That's it. So we got to do this now. Let me read this real quick. Daniel 12 and 24. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge is increased. I was just watching, that's the spirit, I was just watching a video on this very topic uh, early this morning. And the dude was saying, uh, the knowledge in this century alone has been increased, like, uh, you could say 700 fold. So much knowledge has been acquired within the past century is ridiculous. You, you go back from the 18, look, compare it now to the 1800s, just 100 years ago, 200 years ago. Now we got electricity, we got cell phones, we got tablets. It's almost like a, a time skip. It's yeah. It advanced so quick. Man. It advanced so quick. It's unimaginable. Now, now, now they, they, done, uh, they know about DNA now. They're making clones of animals. They, they, they splice in the DNA of plants. 
They got robots. They got some killer robots. They can do backflips. Y'all seen the robots doing backflips? They got killer Terminator robots that can do backflips and shoot your ass and hunt you. And eat. They got robots that will eat you. They got robots that the way they fuel themselves, they use biofuel. They can take in plants, uh, take in life forms That's like great. animals, humans. So what about the ones they make it just to keep people having sex? Yeah, they got sex robots now. Yeah. They're going to be robots. There's a story on sex robots almost every week now. Everybody's so sex driven. And you got the microchip. They they they, they 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 think next year might be the year for the cashless society. They said in Sweden right now only in Sweden right now only two percent of the population actually uses cash. Ninety-eight percent of Sweden is cashless. A lot of stuff starts over there because they're real liberal, socialist country, and they they're trying to bring that thing over. That's that testing ground over there. Sweden was the test of ground for the immigration, for the liberal policies, and they're going to bring it all over here. they bringing that microchip. It's coming quick. They, they said in China, uh, in China, they, most of their transactions are cashless now. Everybody is using these. They got them, uh, what, them, the IR, what them codes, the IRC codes or whatever, the bar, you know the little things you scan. Even street vendors.